So this is Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. We've had tons and tons and tons of rain. It rains every two days, every other day, or every day. And the mosquitoes, it basically makes this unusable. I want to use the porch, I want to sit here, I want to do some ham radio, I want to relax, but the bugs are killing me. So and there's a number of things I've tried, but this is, video is about the planter and the plants that I'm going to try. Now if you look up here, you can actually see mosquitoes. They hang around our door. They'll fly around. They're just hanging around for us. I shouldn't even be out here right now. So I'm experimenting. That's what I did. Planted some rosemary and some mint. I know that stuff takes over and I kind of want it to. Everything here is going to be anti-mosquito. Okay, so we'll, this is just some flowers that we got. So first off, I got this barrel today, about $45 at Lowe's. Really heavy. I decided on this color. They suggested I put bricks underneath it and then drill holes. I've drilled about seven quarter inch holes, seven or eight holes underneath it. And I got some of these uh, pebble rocks. I don't know what these are, little pebble rocks. They were the cheapest. I don't think it much matters. You just need some kind of drainage. So underneath there are holes. And then underneath that, there's a gap down there between that last ring and the bottom. So the water, any kind of water that comes down will hopefully drain out. Okay. So I bought a bunch of uh, garden soil, just, I'm not taking this too seriously. I'm just going to get some plants in there and experiment. And I'm ripping all of these out because I, I noticed that they are huge mosquito holders. I went and sprayed it the other day with some cutter. Mosquitoes just flew out of there. So I'm getting rid of all of these things here. I don't care if it looks terrible or not. I'm going to have some nice flowers here and simplify this, but get rid of these giant things. I'm trying to pull them out by the root, which is really hard. I'm going to put that soil in and I'm going to experiment with several different types of plant. Not just one, but many, including catnip, maybe even citronella, mint. Uh, I've heard of uh, some lemongrass or some, some other kinds of things. I'm going to try them all. And just this thing is just going to be nothing but mosquito protection all the way around. And then I can enjoy this without having to spray myself with DEET. Stuck on our okay, head. Carly, watch. We're going to put dirt. We're going to put this watch here. Watch me put dirt. Um, Carly, yeah, back up. Stand over there. Back up. Nice to see. Stand over here. So we're going to take this dirt and we're going to make flowers yeah, in a minute, flowers. okay? Perfect. Heavy. I'm going to go over this way, Carly. Okay. See all that dirt? Yeah. That's where the plants are going to grow. They need dirt, you know that. Yeah. And okay, help rip it. Seeds. Need water to grow. Right, in a minute. You're in the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, right. but I found over Some dirt first. Okay. But there's army dirt. What's in there? Seeds? Yeah, well. There's seeds in there. Well, they're not really seeds. Where is it in? Where is it in? Why is it there? This is just really good dirt, girl. You know? It is planting. It's fun. Yeah, after this I'm going on my bicycle. Can I do some of that? Yeah. Well, I don't want to do that one or that one. 
That's all we have left. Do you want to do one more? Huh? This is this is lemongrass. Lemongrass. Okay. I don't I don't I, I don't like to do the, the lemongrass. I don't like to do that one. Why? Because I don't. Okay. Hey, there's grass over there. Like there's gr grass mats, and then it's finished. Honestly, forgot what this is. What is it? I can't remember. It's. Lemongrass should be interesting. Right now, I'm using a thermocell device to keep mosquitoes away because of all the rain, but I don't have any other water receptacle, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do this. Simulate some rain. So we got mar marigolds, lemongrass, whatever that is. This is uh, rosemary. So I finished up my little mosquito, anti mosquito barrel here. We've got just regular flowers. Marigolds have just seemed to taken off. This I think is chocolate mint, which is you know, you you have to really to smell it, you have to really kind of crush this up. Unlike this mint down here, which is way more fragrant. All you have to do down here is just do that. And it's very strong. Very, very strong. Rosemary. Um, this you have to do a little bit more. I think this is chocolate mint. Over here we have catnip which actually I can't hardly smell people smell catnip more than I do we have a storm coming in so I thought I'd get this video but of course over here we have our basil if you pull a leaf of basil off boy you want to smell basil man very very strong over here is our rosemary it's not seems to grow it doesn't seem to grow very fast that's okay. I really, really enjoy this little tiny garden of ours. And of course, the lemongrass, which also you cannot smell until you take some of it. And if you crush it up and, and then you smell it, oh, it smells like lemon. It smells like a lemon stuff that you put on the floor. Absolutely super happy with this. Totally do it again. Excuse me while a storm just blows through. But I'm very happy with my barrel here. It's grown very very well. I keep it watered every day. I bought this little thing for $5.99. Keep it watered. Whoa. <laughs> here we go. I don't have to water tonight. Mm -hmm. 